You're now entering the Mississippi High Country. You're south of Memphis, and you're neighboring the Mississippi Delta, and it's a scenic poetic land. The Spawn writers like William Faulkner, and the bluesmen, Robert Johnson, Sun House, and Muddy Waters. It's also where GE has laid down roots itself, in the small town of Batesville. And it's here that GE will create some of the most advanced composites in aviation. This is the most sophisticated manufacturing General Electric does anywhere in the world. And we're going to do it in Batesville, Mississippi. Lightweight carbon fiber composites in the fan system of our new GNX engine are key in reducing weight and saving precious fuel. We call this a composite fan platform. And Batesville will craft 18 of them for every GNX engine we build. They're ultra durable at a fraction of the weight of conventional metals. And you sure don't make them like metal parts either. What do you say we take a look at how we do it? Hi, welcome to the Batesville Composite Operation. Making carbon fiber composites is a marriage. A marriage of ultra advanced manufacturing and the finest in human craftsmanship. The fellas call this the coffin and in it the fan platforms are pressed and injected with an epoxy resin. Then it's off to the special five axis vertical milling machine they call it and it's here that the platform is sized to the blueprint. Now we're coming to the end of the assembly where the fan platform gets a strong weather resistant paint. Sure looking good there Marcus. Batesville also handles final assembly, the stator system for the huge front fan. And that stator system protects the fan's internal components and channels the flow of air that goes through that fan. The beloved novelist William Faulkner, who lived just 30 minutes from here at Old Miss, used to say, don't try just to be better than your contemporaries, but try to be better than yourself. He couldn't have said it better in describing GE's unique undertaking. Batesville, Mississippi.